Jacob Dreamy had a friend. Someone to last your whole life. For you, I'd give up anything. You only have to ask. Merchant Ivory, it was just a golden period. I really can't think of any other director and producer who's made such a variety of films. I mean, basically, they made the films they wanted to make. It was very unlikely that meeting of minds and bodies and love, that was a love story at first. I could tell at a very early stage in the career that they were yin and yang. From Ismail's point of view, Jim was going to bankrupt the business commercially, and Jim thought that Ismail was going to bankrupt it artistically. I'm just not going to make any more films, that's all. You have to be a con man to be a successful film producer anyway. You required an immense amount of stamina to work for Merchant Ivory. At the end of every movie, everyone says, never again. The more you love someone, the more you're ready to disagree with them. In those days, film sets crackled with subliminal lust. <laughs> there was a sense of family about it. People arguing with each other, but believing in the end, we would survive any argument that we had. For years and years, I remember, things got so bad, I wondered how they had the courage to carry on. But they always did.